Good morning, welcome to Farm Progress Show 2019. My name's Peter Googe and I'm going to take a couple of minutes here to talk about our new 9400 NT no-till drill range. This range is just being launched for this fall and is available in widths from 10 feet up to 20 feet. At the front of the drill we are using this no-till fluted opener and it uses a spring down pressure system to make sure that it's always cutting through the soil and cutting through residue and creating the slot to place to place the seed. Alignment from the coulter at the front to the opener at the rear is set at the factory so that there's no additional setup required from dealer or customer to make sure that coulter and opener are perfectly aligned behind one another. The opener itself back at the at the back of the machine we're using the pro series opener this is this style of opener has a lot of history with Kuhn Krauss um, and on the 5200 series it's been evolved slightly for the no new 9400 series drills but the fundamentals of how it works really remains the same it uses this uh, tandem walking axle system with a gauge wheel front and rear to make sure that that opener can really follow the ground, follow undulations and keep seed placement very precise. With this opener we can see up to 50% more precise seed placement compared to other styles of opener, single arm or parallel linkage that, uh, that are on the market. The two rows of openers here have 11 inches for front to rear spacing between them, so we get excellent residue flow through the machine and avoid plugging in even the harshest residue conditions uh, for no-till for no operators. The blades themselves are offset so that the leading blade, blade always has a cutting edge so that if there is still any residue on the strip here that, uh, that leading blade will slice through that residue, make sure it isn't hair pinned into the slot and we don't lose seed soil contact. Up at the hopper we have a 3.8 bushel per foot hopper capacity and we have the hopper available in three different configurations. Customers can choose between a single seed conf configuration or a split hopper which allows uh, two different types of seed or alternatively a split hopper for seed and dry fertilizer together. The metering unit that we use on the 9400 series is significantly different from anything on the market. It's called the Helica metering unit because the flutes on this meter, instead of being straight, are actually spiralled around. With this spiraled flute, spirally fluted meter, we get consistent seed flow out of the meter as it rotates, rather than the pulsing effect that you tend to get from a meter with a, with a straight flute. If you can imagine that that's those spiral flutes on there, as the meter is dumping seed out into the tube at the bottom, it's also filling at the top. So the flow of seed is, very, is, is consistent as the meter is rotating. With a consistent flow of seed out of the meter at the top and the smooth drop tubes that we have here, we get a very consistent flow of seed down to the opener. So as much as possible, we get excellent repartition of seed along the trench. We don't use a gearbox, a chain and sprocket style gearbox on the 9400 NT. We use a variable drive gearbox. Essentially, this is, uh, this is an infinitely variable drive system. And to change the output speed, we just have to move this lever here. There are no sprockets to change, there are no chains to move from one sprocket to another. It's very quick and easy. The metering opening on here is changed using this, uh, this adjustment knob uh, on the side of the drill. There is a handle which will plug into here so that you can adjust this backwards and forwards very simply. 
There is a chart in the hopper lid which allows you to check the starting settings for a given seed type or and given application rate. And then to calibrate the drill, we put the crank handle onto the variator here and rotate the variator a certain number of turns. Seed is caught from all of the metering outlets. There's a calibration tray included with the drill and we weigh that seed and use that weight to determine the actual application rate that is being put out for a given set of settings. There is a smartphone app called Coon Seed Set which will guide an operator through this and they can even put the weight of seed collected back into that app and it will tell them exactly how much seed is coming out. So there's always the opportunity for an operator to calibrate this drill before he even goes to the field. It can be done statically and catch the seed in the calibration test from all the outlets across the drill. The final point to mention on this drill is that we do have an electronic monitoring system available as an option. It's ISOBUS compatible, so an operator can order this drill with the electronic monitoring without an in-cab display that he can run it on his third-party ISOBUS display or other Kuhn ISOBUS display if he has one, CCI 200, CCI 1200 for example or he can order it with a small monitor, VT30 monitor, uh, which gives him the, the opportunity to view the, view the, uh, the monitoring of the drill uh, on a display, but slightly more economical than, than the, full, the full ISA bus setup. The drill can also be ordered without any electronics at all. There's nothing on this drill which the electronics are actually required to run. It's a monitoring, it's a monitoring function. With those electronics, they're going to monitor bin level. They're going to monitor drive, uh, metering drive. Uh, it's going to give you the acreage meter. And there's also a calibration assistant on, assistant on there as well, which uh, helps with the calibration. Thank you very much for listening to the video.